Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will talk about NCAA new programmatic accreditation standards 2022. The main contents are NCAA accreditation, main differences between old and the new NCAA standards, and we will talk about NCAA standards 2022. The NCAA accreditation in Saudi Arabia is guided by the stated policies in NCAA policy book. The National Center for Academic Accreditation and Evaluation, hereafter the center is the statutory body under the umbrella of the Education and Training Evaluation Commission, which is responsible for the accreditation and evaluation of higher education institutions and programs in Saudi Arabia in the public and private sectors. The NCAA Academic Accreditation Standards 2018, they were six standards and 96 substandards or criteria. The first standard was mission and goals and contained six criteria. The second standard program management and the quality assurance with 24 criteria. Teaching and learning with 25 criteria. Standard number four is about students with 16 criteria. The fifth standard is about faculty members with 12 criteria. And the last one, the sixth standard is learning resources, facilities and equipment with 13 criteria. Of course, as you know, there are some or number of these criteria are essential criteria. For standards of academic accreditation for programs in 2022, there are five standards and 48 substandards or criteria, which means the number of standards decreased by one and the number of criteria decreased by half and this means the new standards are less complex and light and will be easy to implement and to follow. The new five NCAA standards are the first one now, standard number one, is program management and the quality assurance with 12 criteria. And in this case, I want to mention that the first standard mission and goals it is not deleted, but it was included in the Program Management and Equality Assurance with 12 criteria. The second standard in 2022, Teaching and Learning with 18 criteria, previously Teaching and learning was the third criteria in 2018 with 25 criteria. The third standard in 2022 is students with seven criteria, but in 2018 students was the fourth criteria with 16, uh, the fourth standard, sorry, with 16 criteria. 
the fourth standard in 2022 faculty members with six criteria and it was the fifth standard with 12 and finally the fifth standard in 2022 learning resources facilities and equipment with five criteria and it was the sixth criteria with uh, sorry the sixth standard with 13 criteria so comparing between the NCAA academic accreditation standards for programs 2018 and 2022 we see that the number of standards and the number of criteria are decreased uh, this is not doesn't mean that this is this quality but some of criteria as you will see they are reformed rewritten and some of them they are merged uh, together let's have a look at the new standards 2022 the first standard is about program management and quality and as you see for criteria number 111 we see it talks about the mission the program mission and its goals are consistent with the mission of the institution or college and guide all its operation and activities in this criteria they merge the mission and goals together in the old one they were two separate criteria one about the mission and this kind of second about the goals but here as you see they are talking about the mission and the goals of the program consistency with the mission but they didn't add the goals of the institution or the college i don't know why as you see this is the 112 criteria it was an essential criteria in the old 2018 and now it is still in the 2022 and the others as you see you can find the 114 for example it is also about the achievement of goals the program management monitors the achievement of its goals and actions are taken for improvement and this criteria was in the standard number one uh, old one uh, mission uh, and goals for the quality management we have nine criteria as you see with two essential criteria and the second one is about the program management is committed to activating the values of the scientific integrity the second part or the sub second substandard of the first one is about quality assurance quality assurance in the old one had or contained five criteria now we have only three criteria one of them is an essential criterion is the program analyze this is the key performance indicators after that we see the second one teaching and learning and the teaching and learning we have new substandard we call learning outcomes curriculum and the third one quality of teaching and students assessment so we have three substandards in the teaching i think with 16 
criteria. For students now, it is the third standard with two essential criteria. The fourth is about faculty. As you see, for faculty, there is no essential criteria, but we have six. For sources, we have only one essential criteria about safety. So as you see, only 48 criteria, less essential criteria, and this means the accreditation requirements become more easy and more flexible. This will, of course, in decrease the complexity in preparing documents and writing the SSR for academic accreditation and also will be easy to manage, easy to prepare, easy to follow uh, from the both sides, from the side of the program to prepare and the side of the NCAA to check and evaluate. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, we will talk shortly uh, about the how to fill the course specification, course report, program specification, uh, program uh, uh, annual program report, uh, self-study report for the new forms in CAA 2022. Because as you know, the NCAA also published new forms to meet the new NCAA standards 2022.